Nothing but bits. Hey guys and girls, welcome back to That's Mr. Camper, another episode of The Bits. It's a real juicy week and weekend. I broke 100 subs. I know that's not a lot, but I never had any delusions of grandeur on YouTube. I did it because I like it, and hopefully that reflects in the videos that I do. So welcome all the new subs, and I got over 100, so I'm pretty damn happy about that. So it's been a good damn week, and welcome to The Bits. Let's get started with this here. Rod Ferguson debuts in Gears of War 4 as a voice actor. I know that this came out a month ago, but I had no idea that he was going to be a voice actor. He's probably some random guy. I'm sure he's not the main character or anything like that. Link will be in the description again for everything that I put up here. So if you want to read more information, I didn't put enough out there because it's only a 5 to 8 minute video. Click the link. It'll give you all the information you want. What do we got up next? I definitely wanted to mention this. St. Jude is having an auction on eBay to help raise money for their children's charity. Adver Media Streamer Bundle with Gears of War Collectible Xbox One is in a bundle for streamers. If you plan on doing this, last time I checked it, it was at $1,600. I'm sure it's going to climb, but it's for a great cause. So if you're looking to get this set up, if you're helping out the kids, then you're spending your money wisely. Let's move on here. And I found this kind of surprising, even though we're only three quarters of the way through this year. Gears of War 4 is listed as one of the most anticipated titles for 2016 by Games Radar. Now also remember, Games Radar also had the special skinned Xbox One. So take this with a grain of salt here. If you want to read the article, link will be in the description. Let's get a little bit closer to the beta before we start breaking out the champagne for Gears of War 4. And Hype Station, Hype 4 is right around the corner, guys. And Hype Station uh, is elated that Astro Gaming, as a sponsor, allows us to provide Astro A40 mix amps on every competitive station in the venue, as well as headsets for prizes. This is a good deal for Astro Gaming to do. I'm sure that they're going to uh, put out a lot. I hope they're putting a lot into the prize pool, but. Just to have quality sound systems, you and I both know that that's a big deal. I'm glad they updated that in the patch for the sound. And it looks like Astro Gaming's trying to get on the coattails of Gears of War. And let's hope this is one of the things that helps it take off in the future. And it seems like they just keep on hiring over there at, uh, at the Coalition. Pretty thrilled to announce that I am the new Director of Community on Gears of War with the great team. At the Coalition, this is Adam Fletcher. He announced this on September 10th, but I just got around to putting it on there because there was a whole bunch of other juicy news, but this is a nice little tidbit. Make sure you follow him. His link will be in the description. Follow him on Twitter. He's got some key information for you, and he posts pretty regular, which in case you missed it or you didn't know, ESL Gears of War congratulates Fury for winning Gears of War Preseason Cup 5. And Murder by Numbers, MBN, got second place. It was a pretty close match, but Fury was definitely the better team. We'll see after the patch who is the better team, because I believe that's going to change up a whole lot of the way they're going to play Gears of War Ultimate Edition. So congratulations to Fury and MBN for second place. And remember that Gears of War Ultimate Edition's Preseason Cup 6 is today. So if you want to check it out, Thursday, September 24, 2015, 18 CDT. Now, they did have live commentary from podcasters and broadcasters there. That was, I was so happy that that was back. It's not even funny. Uh, get in there, support Gears of War Ultimate Edition and ESL. They issued a reminder on game battles that summer 2015 roster lock is going to be up real soon. So you got to get your lockdown rosters in so you can help compete for the help compete. So you can compete for the money in the prize pool. So in case you missed it and that's your, uh, your stick, go on there, submit your roster, make sure you lock it in so you're able to win some money if you're a badass mofo at Gears of War. And speaking of badass mofos, these are the top players for Gears of War in general. King Frags, File Shots, Bounce Em, Embarrass, 
and Mr. XP. They round out the top five. This is as of yesterday, the 23rd. It may have changed a little bit, but I don't see these top fives giving up their spots to just anybody. So top five Gears of War in general. Let's go on to Gears of War Ultimate Edition top five individuals, and they are Dead Eyes is number one, Tramex, Lava, Graphics and Oxidation, they round out the top five. About 700 points separates Oxidation and Dead Eyes, and a whole lot of people filling up the middle. Now to six, it is a little further back, almost a thousand points. But these top five, they've been jockeying for position for the last couple weeks, so you know somebody's gonna round it out. Now the $2,000 team battle ladder, let's see what that looks like. We got Glory, How Can We Slay, Vex 2000 Bean. Ralph Boys and Envy rounding out the top five. They're separated by about 40 points. Links will be in the description for everything I talked about here. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Bits. Tell me what your comments are on the patch, whether you like it, whether you hate it. I played it for a little while. It does seem a lot smoother to me, but I think it's a lot based on your connection to host, not connection to host, connection to server, and the host connection to that server. So let me know in the comments section what you guys think about the patch and what anything Gears of War related. Leave it down below. Like, subscribe if you haven't, and you guys have a fantastic weekend. We'll see you later.